Hello, everybody, and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and Wentworth CCTV of New England, and we are coming at you today with a subscriber-requested video on how you add DAWA hardware to its client uh, software, which is Smart PSS. Smart PSS is software that allows you to both remote view and playback locations remotely using your Windows computer or Mac, okay? And for some reason, we have a lot of clients that are having difficulty adding the cameras when they get new PCs or, or Macs. Um, as you know, with Dawa's phone app, DMSS, you can add locations uh, individually. Okay, so you create an account. Um, say you are a coffee shop owner like Dunkin' Donuts or Honeydew or Aroma Joe's, and you have multiple locations. Okay, you might have one in... Um, Daytona, Florida. So you can make a Daytona login. You might have one in Miami. You can make a Miami login. You might have one in Jacksonville and you can have a Jackson login, Jacksonville login. And when you log into those individual, uh, you know, locations, you will see cameras for just those locations. Of course, with Heek Vision and with HIK Connect, you can do the same thing. Where there is a snafu is with Heek Vision. Um, once you create that HIK Connect account, when you download Heek Vision's uh, client software, which is IBM S4200, you can then log into each individual HIK account um, and IBM S will import those systems. Okay, so you can view them effortlessly without any more work. With DAWA, okay, with the Smart PSS client software, um, that is not the case. You can still create those individual accounts with its phone app, with DMSS. The problem is when you download DAWA's Smart PSS and try to log into those accounts, there will be no cameras, okay? You have to manually input each location by serial number, okay? Um, so this video will entail how to get that serial number, how to locate it, uh, and how to input that into the Smart PSS, okay? It's a relatively painless process. We're going to get into it right now. All right, everybody, what do you say? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a red subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so. That way you can be notified when we upload future content. Also, like the video if it's useful to you. And of course, leave comments. This video and others like it uh, have been created. The content's been created by viewer and subscriber questions and comments. So the first thing we need to do is get a hold of the camera. This can actually be done a couple of different ways, but the easiest way is to get a hold of your camera. And if you look at on the base of your camera, if it's an IP or dome, it's the same thing. Uh, you will see a sticker with the model number and also the serial number. Okay, this serial number is what you need to import the camera into the Smart PSS client software. Okay, if you already have the camera installed uh, at location and it's up high and you're unable to see this label, you can also use DAWA's uh, config tool. Okay, right here. Uh, you can download this from DAWA's wiki, you know, website. Um, there's a link going across the top of your screen right now with, with that process, but you can go to Dawa's website, download the config tool. And once you do, and you run it, it will identify any cameras, NVRs, DVRs that are, um, attached to that network. Okay. Right here in the office, we don't have any, uh, if we did, they would show up here. Okay. But again, the easiest way is to just get it directly off the camera and go up there, take a picture with your cell phone and come back down and import it into Smart PSS. OK, so, yes, Smart PSS. OK. We're going to go ahead and open the program. Which is already running. Sorry about that. And we have a camera up currently. OK. But to add devices, okay, we're going to X out of live view and we're going to go to the main control panel, okay? And here you will see devices, okay? That is where we want to click, okay? So we'll click on devices and here are the devices that I already have mapped or networked um, 
to this, okay? If I wanted to add another, I can hit add here, okay? And we're going to switch from IP domain to serial number, okay? IP domain is when you, back in the day when you had to port forward all of these cameras to, um, to connect them by IP address, okay? Um, that became problematic, as you know, because unless you have a static IP address, if you have a, a dynamic IP address, that would change from time to time with your internet service provider. When that happened, you lost your cameras. So P2P and uh, adding by serial number uh, was developed as a result of that. Now your IP address can change as, as much as it wants. The camera will stay connected. In fact, this camera could be uh, networked to Smart PSS up here in New Hampshire. Um, you can unplug it from the internet, go down to your camp in Florida, uh, plug the camera into the internet there, and it will automatically come back up because it's being pulled up by serial number, not by IP address. So that part's very cool. Um, the next thing you'll do is you'll have to add right here uh, the serial number, okay? And I actually cut and pasted one a few minutes ago. Let's go ahead and copy that. And we can go into serial number. Paste that. Just like so. We can add the name. We'll just do test here. Then, of course, you're going to have to put in the username and password. Uh, that you created when you installed uh, the hardware. Okay, so that one I can't help you with. You got to know what that is. But I do know this one, so let's go ahead and add it. And what should happen, you'll see test here. Uh, once it's online, this will turn green. And there we go, it's green. Um, so we can get out of devices and we can now go to live view. Click on test. And sure enough, there's our camera. Okay, this is a very uh, cool 4 megapixel um, Dawa IP dome. Uh, it's in a convenience store, a gas gas station location. And um, as you can see, the Smart PSS streams fluently. The camera works well. And, and that's it. Okay, very simple process. You just need the serial number of the camera. You can import it to Smart PSS following those simple steps. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the field.